Well, hi, this is Robert Suniga, board member for the India Association of Minnesota. And today I am here with Maya Nair. And Maya was born and raised in India and is currently on assignment with 3M, who brought her here to Minneapolis and the U.S. Now, the first thing Maya looked, started looking for when she got here, like anyone else, was a place she could meet people and make friends. And that's when Maya met some other people who were on the board at the India Association of Minnesota and started getting involved in the India Association of Minnesota activities. As is obvious, Maya loves meeting people and making friends. She also, she also enjoys reading, music, and movies. But she definitely loves to enjoy soaking in a lot of the outdoors in her leisure time. Well, hi, Maya. How are you doing today? I am doing great, Robert. Thank you. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. I really appreciate you sharing your insights on what the India Association of Minnesota is all about. Uh, let me ask you, why is the India Association of Minnesota important for us to know about? Uh, Robert, I think it's uh, different things for different people. Uh, like for me, it was a great place uh, to meet people, or that's how it started off. Uh, I was new to Minneapolis uh, and the U.S., uh, so it started off as a great place to meet people who kind of share your ethnic background. Uh, then it grew on me, and uh, then uh, I realized it is a great platform to have your, uh, let's say, organizational skills honed. Uh, you uh, provided you want to get into the governance uh, aspect of it. Uh, otherwise, uh, it's a great uh, uh, place to have fun, to get involved in some of the community activities and uh, um, all that. Uh, so, it, uh, like I said before, uh, it, is, uh, it could be different things. Uh, it could mean uh, a whole lot of different things to you. Um, and it depends on what you pick from that. You could just be uh, part of some of the activities, uh, you could be part of the board and then uh, contribute towards the planning and the execution um, and uh, have fun while you, do, you are at it. Definitely. And, and the India Association of Minnesota does accomplish a lot. Uh, could you share with us what the India Association of Minnesota is by definition, what you see it as being? Uh, I primarily see it as a bridge that connects the, uh, you know, the, uh, the East Indian uh, community. Uh, to that of the U.S., uh, and I would think that this is one unit which brings, uh, you know, all the Indian, uh, the entire Indian community together, and it's more like an umbrella organization uh, with uh, no uh, barriers of, uh, say, uh, region that is within India or uh, uh, color or creed or anything like that. So uh, to me, it is that one big window uh, which opens uh, the uh, uh, the community to, uh, or that one big window to the Indian community, uh, where uh, and that's probably the first place that uh, I would look uh, if I were to, uh, uh, you know, connect with the people of India who live in the U.S. Definitely, and you know, a lot of that is translated in three of their major. Uh, events that they currently put on, the Connect India event, the Festival of Nations um, contribution, as well as the India Fest. Uh, uh, is there a, a, a way for people, how do people get started being a part of the India Association of Minnesota? Uh, what is it that they need to do in order to be involved? Uh, it could be, again, you know, uh, depends on uh, how you uh, connect with the organization. Uh, like for me, uh, I met uh, some of the people who worked with IAM uh, at work. Uh, that's I work for 3M, and uh, uh, some of the board num board members uh, at IAM also work with 3M. So I met uh, uh, them at a lunch and then started talking to them, uh, then started with uh, volunteering with uh, some of the activities. In fact, India Fest was the first uh, uh, activity with uh, which I was uh, associated so I started volunteering there, uh, saw that it was, uh, of course, it, it, it is work too, but then it's a lot of fun. Uh, you get to meet people, then uh, you have fun uh, planning this and then actually executing that. Um, then, uh, So you just start with you know, meeting people uh, who, whom you know who are connected with IAM. You start with volunteering. Then you get involved in more activities, and then before you know, you're part of the team. So... 
um yeah that's how it happened for me but uh, if you just want to make uh, if you just want to know more about i am you could always look it up and then um get to know more about it definitely it is very easy to to be a part of the india association of minnesota in fact you know we're running our membership campaign and that's what this interview is a part of and so if a, if a listener is interested in in finding out about uh, joining the India Association of Minnesota, go ahead and click on the link that's on this web page, and it'll take you directly to IAMN.org, where you can join today. It really is easy. There's a lot of activity going on. There's always something in, in, in planning stages, uh, especially with these major events. There's well over, uh, in, in for all three of them, well over um, 6,000 people that uh, are uh, benefiting from the activities that India Association of Minnesota provides the community here in, in Minnesota. So uh, why don't you share with us, share with our listeners how, how life changed a little bit once you became part of the India Association of Minnesota. You had mentioned that you got involved with the India Fest. Uh, could you uh, talk a little bit about your experience there, please? Uh, sure. Uh, I can definitely say that uh, it has brought a change to my life. At least I know what I'm doing on every first Wednesday of every month uh, evening. That's when we have the board meetings. <laughs> that apart... Uh, Definitely. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that apart, uh, uh, I, uh, like I said before, I started getting involved with IAM uh, and uh, got connected with the uh, India Fest activity. Uh, I started volunteering there, uh, then uh, had a lot of fun doing that, got to know the people more and uh, got to know what uh, IAM was doing and was planning to do this year. Uh, in 2012, uh, so I would think that uh, you know uh, that's where you start. Uh, you get you start looking at one of the events. Uh, then uh, initially you're just part of uh, you know you just probably do what uh, you expected to do, or as part of a bigger team. Uh, then you just start gradually uh, looking at how the whole thing is planned. Uh, then uh, you're part of uh, one of the other uh, committees, or you lead one. You get involved in the activities, and then uh, uh, that's how it all starts. And then uh, you uh, start looking at planning and executing the one event after the other. Uh, it's 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 uh, uh, a lot of work with a lot of fun. I would say it's a great group to be working with. So I would say you know you start with uh, uh, in you know volunteering yourself for an activity. Uh, then you could soon be planning and uh, uh, you know getting involved with uh, at a larger scale for the next one, uh, and, you, and soon you could be uh, proud of having a job well done. Uh, and when you get involved in one of these events, um, and then you could get involved in the board, uh, be a member, or maybe soon uh, uh, be a vice president or a president. So. <laughs> Yeah, so that's Definitely. how uh, I would think that uh, you know uh, life would change while you're at the IAM. Mm -hmm. It is it is a very active organization. In fact, it does in many ways promote a lot of 21st century uh, skills and techniques. There, are, there's an extremely uh, uh, highly trained uh, group of people that are a part of the India Association of Minnesota, who have very uh, great, uh, who definitely have great skills in terms of team building, community outreach, time management, and being involved in community events. So, you know, the time that you put in and the time that you are a part of the India Association of Minnesota is is definitely purposeful and definitely does have an impact on the community. Is there any specific roadblock that you think people might have from you know, becoming involved with an event or becoming involved with the India Association of Minnesota as a member, even getting uh, started. Maybe a couple of things from what I've seen. Uh, one is probably uh, the uh, you know the awareness about I am. Like uh, you know, I have had friends who've lived here for some time and who are not uh, really uh, aware of what I am does. Uh, and then of course uh, the question of what is in it for me. How do you distinguish this organization from the numerous others uh, uh, who actually uh, are part of the Indian community. Uh, and then, of course, you know, so that's, that I think is probably the, uh, you know, the, the biggest uh, roadblock. And, of course, the actual process of uh, getting 
uh, let's say, being a part, like, you know, actually, like, uh, I knew all about the activities and I actually wanted to be a member. Then uh, when I actually looked at the process, okay, you actually need to cut a check and then give it uh, to send it across to somebody and all that. So maybe that entire process, though that is maybe a small part of the whole thing. Uh, I do know that, you know, I am is doing a lot about uh, addressing all these. Uh, yeah, and I'm sure in due course, all these will be addressed. Definitely. We are, you know, looking, as you mentioned, to, uh, you know, making it easier for someone to be a part of the India Association of Minnesota. In fact, you know, the India Association of Minnesota has been here um, doing good work in the state of Minnesota since 1973, so it's a very well-established group. And as you mentioned, uh, the types of uh, activities that they're involved with are really a part of helping Indians to invest in the community. And, you know, for just a few tweaks on, on being able to be a part of uh, the group, uh, this interview being one of them, in terms of helping people to understand that um, it's important to be a part of the India Association of Minnesota, to be a part of community events that highlight the contributions that Indians make in the state of Minnesota. And it's very easy. All you do is have to click on the link below on this webpage. It will take you directly to iamn.org where you can join today. And it's a very, very nominal fee. In fact, what we're hoping to do is to make sure that by joining, you get all of the information and the, uh, uh, specific for the specific events that come up on your information as well as uh, just being able to attend some of the events and, and what is involved and in, in the dates and times that those are as they come about. Um, are there uh, specific strategies that you see that uh, will help uh, people to become successful once they are a member? Uh, I can see that there are a, a lot of uh, I mean, to be a member, I can see that, you know, there are a lot of uh, marketing tools and communication tools now that the team is working on to make it, uh, to make people know what IAM is all about. And once they are in, uh, there is, uh, you know, a whole lot of uh, uh, activities and uh, promotional activities which uh, will attract people to uh, doing uh, or contributing what they do best uh, with the IAM. Uh, and uh, and I believe there is uh, some uh, activity around making the entire process simpler uh, and uh, developing more online content so that uh, people know what it is all about uh, and they are encouraged and uh, enthusiastic about uh, uh, doing you know, or being part of the IAM. Definitely. And I, I know this. If Once you become a member of the India Association of Minnesota, that however you want to contribute, you are welcome. And there are a lot of opportunities, again, to be, involved with, to be involved with some of these wonderful events, the Connect India event, um, the Festival of Nations, uh, contributions that the India Association of Minnesota has there, as well as India Fest. So there's plenty of opportunity as a member to uh, participate, to one, support what I, India Association of Minnesota is about, two, to volunteer, and be a part of these here events, and three, potentially to be a board member just like you and I are and help to uh, make sure that all of this happens on a timely fashion so that way the impact that the India Association has matches the intentions of the group in sharing the wonderful things that Indians do here in the state of Minnesota. Uh, let me ask you a question. It's kind of a different type of question. What do you think is the most misunderstood concept that's really important for people to understand what the India Association of Minnesota is all about? Uh, I would think that uh, uh, to be uh, able to distinguish uh, uh, ourselves, that is the IAM, uh, from what other organizations do or what our, uh, you know, what it is, what is unique about IAM uh, is probably what uh, uh, people are less aware about. And uh, uh, so basically it's how do you, uh, how beneficial or what is, uh, why is it important for me to be part of IAM as compared to maybe 
um, you know, any other organization. That's probably, uh, I would think, is the most important uh, uh, thing that uh, maybe uh, is probably is the most misunderstood uh, uh, factor. Okay. And, you know, really it's it's very, as you mentioned, uh, very different from a lot of the other organizations that may cater to uh, particular regions or particular interests. India Association of Minnesota is really looking to provide, um, as you mentioned, and uh, more overall representations of Indians in the state of Minnesota. And I can't imagine that being more evident than the event that takes place at the St. Paul Capitol Grounds at the India Fest, where there is a large um, event that provides a forum for people just to come and celebrate. In fact, last year, uh, there were well over 6,000 people that attended. So that, that is a statement of how uh, the India Association of Minnesota seeks to provide unity in declaring that, yes, Indians do live, work, and contribute to the state of Minnesota. And it's very easy to join. It's, to join the India Association of Minnesota is simply uh, made by clicking on the link below, going to iamn.org, and joining today. Uh, let me ask you, uh, uh, Maya, what do you think, uh, what is the first physical action step you'd like our listener to take to, to get started? Uh, like you said, Robert, I would say that, you know, the first thing to do is probably look up uh, the website iamn.org and then uh, read about IAM uh, and convince yourself that it is, it is in your own interest and that you need to join IAM. Definitely. And uh, I really appreciate you sharing your insights today, Maya. Uh, it's been a wonderful time learning about uh, you, learning about uh, how the India Association of Minnesota has been a part of uh, your life, your professional life, as well as your uh, enjoying the state of Minnesota. And I thank you again for joining us today. Uh, it was a pleasure, Robert, talking to you. Uh, talk to you later then. All right. You have a great day. Thank you. You too. Bye-bye.